So now we'll set up the mechanism for changing our ghosts into scared ghosts once a power pellet has been eaten. Let's open the object player and select the object power pill collision event. Down at the bottom here, we are testing to see if the pill that we have eaten is the last pill, in which case the game will end. If it isn't though, we will use this opportunity to transform our ghosts. So I'm going to come to control, select else, drag that above the final destroy instance. I will drag some blocks underneath it. I'm going to leave myself a comment so I know this is how we change the ghosts. I'll set a variable. This variable is going to be applied to the object ghost parent and it will be is underscore afraid equal to true. We also want to reduce the speed of the ghost so we'll drag another set variable. This one will be applied to the object ghost parent. The variable is ghost speed and we will set it to 2. I also want the ghosts to reverse direction as soon as they change so set another variable applied to ghost parent. This will be direction, give it a value of 180, and relative. We're also going to change the ghost sprite, so come to main 1, change sprite. We will have this applied to the ghost object parent. We'll have the sprite be the sprite afraid. We'll give it sub image 0, which is the blue one, and speed of 0. We're also going to set a timer countdown so that after a certain amount of time the ghost will flicker and then go back to normal. So let's come to main 2, set alarm, have this applied to the object ghost parent. That object already has an alarm 0 so we need to set alarm 1 and we'll set this to 180. Now that alarm doesn't actually exist so I'm going to come over and open the object ghost parent. I'm going to add an event, alarm, alarm 1, and this is going to set the ghost sprite to flickering and then set it back to normal. So let's go, first of all, set a comment. So this is the ghost flicker. Come to main 1, change sprite. This will be applied to self since we're in the ghost parent. We will set it to that sprite afraid, set it to subimage minus 1, and a speed of 0.33. So it'll slow that down, and it will cycle through both the blue and the white, giving us that flicker effect. And then after, we'll say one second, it'll go back to normal. So we'll come back to main two, set alarm, applied to self, we will set alarm zero to 30. So after those 30 steps, it'll come back to alarm zero and reset the ghost. Once it does that, we need to also make sure we are resetting the appropriate sprite. So when we get back to this point, we will first see if the ghosts are afraid. So come to control, test variable. We're going to have this first one apply to the ghost red. And we will see if its variable is underscore afraid is equal to false. If it is, then we will change sprite for the ghost red object into the ghost red sprite. Then we can copy these two and paste them for the other ghosts. Okay, so this second one needs to apply to the object ghost blue. And we will change the object ghost blue sprite into the sprite ghost blue. Take the third one, have it apply to the object ghost pink change the sprite of the object ghost pink into sprite ghost pink and the final one needs to apply to ghost orange and we'll change the sprite of object ghost orange into the sprite ghost orange. Now there is a contingency that we have to keep in mind. If we eat a pill it sets this flicker count going. As soon as this alarm 1 happens, it sets the alarm for 0, counting down. A problem that can arise from this is that if in between these different alarms going off, we eat another pill, 
it will set the ghost flicker alarm going again, but this alarm zero is still counting down. And what that means is that even though we should be in the afraid state, alarm zero will finish and it will change the sprite color. So let's close the object ghost parent and come back to our object player and down here where we are changing the ghost. We need to stop the ghost object's alarm zero from counting down when we eat a pill. Because every time we eat a new pill, we want the countdown to start over. So the way you stop an alarm is by changing its steps to a negative one. So we'll bring in a new alarm above the alarm one to 180. We'll have this apply to the object ghost parent. And we'll have alarm zero set to negative one. So that way it will stop and it will reset the alarm for the flickering of the ghost. So if we test this, hit start, and as the ghosts move around, they're going at a speed of four, but when I eat a pill, they reverse direction and go slower. And if we wait a little bit, they'll start to flicker, they'll go back to normal, they'll resume their ghost speed. So now we'll deal with a collision with the ghost and make it so that we can eat it.